After you create your first AI art, it's amazing and it feels nice that you created such a nice thing, but you can take it a step further and create your own AI art animation. I will show you three tools that you can use to create your own AI art animations of your own images. The first tool that we're gonna use is Kyber. And Kyber is in beta and it's a pretty cool tool that is really fun to try out. So you can create an account and after you log in on your account, you arrive on this screen and you can just press create your first video. You can choose, you can either only make images from prompts, but you can also upload and drop an inspiration image. So that will be the image in which your animation starts with. I have a folder with images that I want to use. So I'm just gonna grab one image that I created. So I have my first image here. I upload it and in the right bottom, you see how many credits it costs. And you can just continue to prompt. And here you have a couple of options. So I want to create a video of, and I can select the subject. So here you can describe the subject or enter on your own. So this is some, so these are some examples that they already have for you. So a portrait of a main character, a massive cosmic anomaly. So I'm just gonna do a portrait of a main character because that's what this image is. And now you can select the style. So you can really go for the style that you want. I want to go for cinematic. If you press cinematic, then here you see all the style that it's adding, but you can also do it by hand. So if you want the cyberpunk, futuristic, cinematic, neon light. I'm gonna do this so you can really mix and match how you want it yourself. Then I can continue to the seconds. So you can choose the duration, how long you want the video to take and show initial image in the first frame. So that's enabled. So you really start with the first image and here you have evolve. The lower it's more stable, higher, more wild. I'm gonna go for a bit higher because I like that it really changes a lot in the video. And then you just press generate and now they're preparing and it's going to take a little bit before the video is created it takes about two minutes and then after we see the result of the video our video from kyber is ready and it's very trippy so this is i like the style that they use it's really like switching a lot and it goes super fast but you see that it went quite fast through the first shot i'm gonna try one more because this one is quite aggressive with how fast it changes so I'm gonna try one more and I can just press create video and I will use the same one again just to see how different it's gonna look and describe the subject as a portrait of the main character. You can also do something else and then it really turns into that. So that can also be fun. So I'm gonna do a portrait of, so a portrait of an alien. So the person will turn into an alien and select the style. I'm gonna do 3D render. So it's gonna be a bit different style. And I just click here and then you see what it added. And after continue to settings, I'm gonna go for evolve, it's gonna be less. So it's less strong. So it's not gonna change so much. We're just waiting on the new video and I'm super curious how it ends up. Cause you never know when you use this tool, it really changes a lot and you see the nice glitches and it's super fun to use. And it's always a surprise. So my new video is ready, a portrait of an alien in the style of 3D Octane Render 8K Ray Tracing Blender Hyper Detailed. And you see when I use this one, when I put the Evolve way less, you see that it really keeps more true to itself. And you see the change go much slower and it's looking amazing, right? You see the evolvement from your original image to what you want in the end. You can go to my plan and you have some costs. For free, you can create 30 seconds of video. For $10 a month, you get a thousand credits for approximately 100 videos a month. So I think this is really cool and try it out. You can just make a couple for free and it's super fun to use. And here you see the two images next to each other. And you see that when I did the evolve way higher, how fast it changes. And this one, you see how slow it changes and just takes it time. Another tool that I just wanted to show in this video, it's Leapix Converter. I have a full video on this tool. You can watch it here or the link is in the description. But I just had to include it here because it's a super cool tool and it's super easy to use. So it's just convertleapix.com and after you log in, you're on this screen. I can either upload or just pull your image inside. And right now it's loading. So this is actually an image of a video that I recently did on how to create realistic images with Midjourney. And you see it's moving and there's a bit of a blur behind. And on the left, we have some options. We have a focus point, amount of motion, animation style, animation length. And you see if I press this, the image moves in a different direction. And here you can see the amount of motion. So if I do less, it goes slower. And here's the focus point. So if I do it close, it really focuses in the beginning. 
And if you do far, it focuses in the back. And for each image, you have to play around a little bit to see what works. And for this one, I think it works if I do a wide circle and I'm gonna put the amount of motion on less, otherwise you see too much disturbance. But this is looking really good and it really comes alive from the background. I'm gonna try it with one more image. This is another one that I created with the realistic mid-journey prompt. And this right away looks super good already. It really looks alive. This puddle looks close by and this mountain looks far and this really looks behind. So you should always play around how much movement, what motion, what's focus point. And honestly, it looks really cool and it's super easy to do, super fast. And after that, you can just press share and you can export the image that you just created. So you can either share it right away on Facebook or Twitter or email it and save it as an MP4 and an easy way to just make your AI images come to life. The video that you're seeing now is created with CapCut. This is something that is super easy to do as well. And you can only do this with the app on the phone. So let me show you how to do it. Once you open your phone, you just press new project and you can already select the images that you want to add. I'm gonna add this one. This is the image that I created with Midjourney and I'm gonna add the other ones that I want to add in the video as well. So now I have two videos after each other and one more. Add. So now we see that we're gonna go make a video from one to the next, to the last shot. And you can scroll. And if you click on a clip that you want to make an edit with, you can press style in the bottom. You can choose two things that really give it effect of it coming to life. And this is the 3D Zoom and the 3D Zoom Pro. So I press the 3D Zoom Pro and it's just gonna generate super fast. And like this, now you see what the animation does. So I press play again. I go back and I press play and it just gives a nice slow motion and it brings it to life. So now I can click on the second one and that one I'm gonna give the 3D Zoom, the normal one, so not the Pro. And this one, you see that the background gets a bit gone from the foreground. And on the last one, I click on that one and maybe I'm gonna do a 3D Zoom Pro again. And this really gives it a cool effect, especially in the beginning. But this is not all. So now we added the effect to the videos, but you can add a little transition between the pictures. So it becomes more like a real video. So I just press on the bottom and I see the little icon in the middle and I click on that one. And you can press transition and you see here a lot of different options for different transitions that you can use. So I'm just gonna do first, I'm gonna just do a pool in here. So you see in the top, it will go inside to this next. And then I can click on the second transition here and I'm gonna do something else. But you see they have a lot, so you can really try out what you prefer. I think this solve can be nice. And then press this and now I have my full video with the 3D effect and the transitions and in the top right you can just press exporting and like that you just have your video and this is another way of making your AI art come to life that's super easy super fast so this is how you can create your own AI art animations either make crazy animations with Kyber or make your own AI art come to life with Leapix and CapCut. Let me know in the comments which tool you like the most and subscribe if you want to watch more AI videos.